So hello again. Um, I'm going to now be talking to you about modern materials. Now modern materials is defined as materials that have only been available in their present form since the 1960s slash 70s onwards. Modern materials are quite often um, confused with smart materials. A smart material will change its property under um, external pressures. So for instance, thermochromic um, pigmentation, where they change due to heat. However, modern materials don't do that. Modern materials are just basically materials that have been available only in, the recent, um, only in recent history. Now, one of the most common modern materials we have is, in fact, MDF. It was introduced in 1974 after it was accidentally invented. It's a mixture of wood chips that have been bonded with resin under heat and pressure. It comes in sheet form and in various thicknesses. Um, the however, the glues and resins used um, in the bonding can sometimes be toxic. This later led to the development of a new material called Maplex, which is a, um, is a type of MDF, but it's um, incredibly more flexible than MDF is. Um, now, Maplex is actually a really interesting material because it is actually 100% um, pressed wood fibres. There are no binders or glues. Um, you, it's um, held together only by using um, water, heat and pressure. It's strong, easily moulded and completely biodegradable. Um, it's quite often used in chairs, so it's quite nice and mouldable and flexible. Um, another modern material would be Kevlar. Now, Kevlar is what we normally um, associate with stab vests. Um, it was developed in 1965. It's um, a lightweight um, fabric that is five times stronger than steel, um, weight for weight. Um, and it's normally woven and used in layers. It's most commonly used in bike, in bike tires and stab vests. What it will do is, it will actually, um, if you're wearing a Kevlar stab vest and um, you are attacked, what it will do is it will absorb the impact and kind of close in around the, um, the blade. This means it will slow it down so it doesn't actually penetrate the skin. Again, um, once um, that Kevlar has actually been attacked or it's been damaged, um, it becomes unusable, so it doesn't maintain or go back to its original quality. Now, another really interesting modern material is actually polymorph. Now, polymorph could be um, considered a smart material, but it is not. Polymorph comes in little um, grains, a little bit like um, rice, um, and is a low um, melting point polymer. It softs at about 63 degrees, and at that point it begins to fuse together, so the grains actually become um, as one. Now this is an excellent material for rapid prototyping, um, and if it's reheated, it can be further manipulated. However, the reason that we don't consider it a smart material is because it doesn't go back to its original form. So um, we can't then get it to go back to its grains of rice. It will um, remain fused together. Obviously, if you process it, you can actually get it back to, to its original form, but that will take an additional process. Now, some other really interesting um, modern materials to know about would be Gore-Tex. Um, this is where they combine for a porous membrane, um, which is laminated to a high-performance textile. This membrane has billions of pores, which allows moisture and vapour to escape, but they are so small that water droplets cannot penetrate. This keeps the user dry and cool. So your sweat can escape your skin through those pores. However, when if, if it rains, um, the membrane does not allow any water to seep through.